Audio Jungle. Singapore, you are my Joe, what can you do to get you to see the number 60? And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2016 ITTF World Tour Polish Open, a major series on the World Tour. And coming live from Warsaw, Poland, I'm Adam Bobro, your commentator. And getting into the match, we've got Yumeng Yu of Singapore versus Miyu Kato of Japan. Should be an exciting showdown here. Our officials for this match, head umpire from Poland, Robert Dietrich and assistant umpire, also from Poland, Wojciech uh, Czernica. The officials have been outstanding so far this tournament. So have the appearances of young Japanese women players. I talked to you a little bit in the last match about how many professional women players there are in Japan. It's quite impressive. Ever since I knew Uhara was crying at five years old, the nation started following the sport. And quite differently than the men's situation, women can be professionals without having to work other jobs a lot more. There are about six professional players on the men's side. And probably about 30 on the women's side. Miyukato is 17 years old. He's the 27th seed in this tournament. January of 2016, four games to three. Miyu Kato was the winner right there. Yumeng Yu from Singapore, 26 years old, nine years older than her opponent, is the 16th seed in this tournament, world rank number 23 currently. She's had some ups and downs, but I feel like she played a strong tournament in Malaysia for her team. started off beating Carlini Kumahara. You saw that match. It was four games to one. Starting off this best of seven with the serve. Now you might not recognize the coach for Miyu Kato. It's Koji Kato, her father. Fortunate break there. Miyu Kato, an only child. Her father wasn't a professional player either. Real passion for the sport, hobby player. Now, Yumeng Yu's style, as you can see, she's very lanky, thin and fast. It's very fast, rapid racket speed. And after several relative... A little late on the...
really turned around. Beautiful shot, and when do you see that? A full-on tomahawk, not just an outside coming around the outside of the ball, but a step around full-on attack after a tomahawk. Played it deeper into the body on the backhand side. Soft touch on the receive, leaving it half long. So much power on that banana flip over the table. With the opposite direction. Look at this change of direction. So confident. Low to the net, bending away. It's a very encouraging. A change on the contact there from the Tomahawk. Free ball. Well, Scrappy's not the last moment. You could see there she had a soft block early on. Advantage of the off balance factor. You want you covered? That deep opening. Look how low that block comes back. And the long wingspan. A bit more side spin there in the follow up on the women's side. A look at the underspin on that ball. But Singapore women. Heavy spin again, and the ball kicks up and out. It's Miu Kato who takes game two to tie it up at one game apiece. We'll be back for game three to see who takes the lead right after this short break. Opportunity to see Miu Kato do her thing. That kicking tomahawk serve. It's a little bit too straight. It's a power you among you guessing on the third balls. Flat hit right off the bounce. That is not an easy how flat it was. Watch it one more time. Bit of side spin. Racket head straight up. What an unusual shot. Kato full of surprise. And a pick for the opponent. Tough to allow a rhythm player to get into their rhythm. But that shot was punished. You must. Soft spinny backhands to the middle, testing Yumung Yu. Takes it 11 to 5. Miyu Kato takes a 2 to 1 lead, and we'll be back for game four. Stay right here. <laughs> Yumung Yu. 
you Meng Yu starting off now with the serve. Break off the corner there. They're professionals, but Yu Meng Yu, not only racket speed, but her whole. Look how wide that ball is from Yu. Anything to get the opponent to hesitate in general is going to be to you. Among you taking back control. Let's see one more time here at the top of the net. Just missing the back edge. That's frustration. Spin. Cross court trying to play the short side of the table. It's tough to counter the shot when it comes back. Curving shot off the forehand side almost comes back to the tape. Several difficult shots there to the short. Almost dangles it off the table. To but still comes just long enough that it puts her on the deep. The top of the net to deuce it up. Interesting to see somebody rehearsing so much out there. Good full arm stroke. And that is a break. Kato escapes after a well played aggressively by Yu Meng Yu. Strong opening there with the backhand. Has her opponent where she wants her. And of course, it's the pendulum serve three in a row to save the game in a 3-1 lead for Miyu Kato. What an exit to game four. As far as plot twists go here, but in a major series in Poland. Comes down this time, well anticipated as Kato. Full extension there just to stay in the point. This time, still leaning again and forcing. Right. What a frustrating experience for you. open on the forehand side. And this is more deep on the table, keeping the rhythm, short strokes until the opportunity comes up. And even, it's very effective. power times it just right and cracks through forehand once again spinny backhands to set it up this match is going to go at least to the next game but the placement the speed top spin over covered and you among you off the top of the net now we got a timeout here i think this is a good time for a timeout at latest after being up 9-3, losing five, getting to watch Kato play. And for many of you out there watching at home, this might be, and see all sorts of exciting highlights from here at the Polish Open, some outstanding European players, along with many of the top players from Asia. Of course, Japan quite strong here, very prevalent in this tournament. 
the Japanese women's team quite popular throughout Japan. This is on the attack after the, for the mistake, but they're back. Yu Meng Yu with two game points. And a flat hit to the short side of the table, right into the net. Yu Meng Yu escapes in the top. It's two to three, and we'll be back for game six just after this. Players are back for game six. Yu Meng Yu down two games to. It's only down 48 points to 52 of Kato. <laughs> Softer certain point this game. How much underspin is on that ball? It, so clearly. Full angle sees you among you all. Not a lot of time there. That's a backhand, a steady backhand. It's not but just her positioning. Faster serve this time with the Tomahawk, getting right into the rally. And the placement deep into the backhand. Gets Yu Meng Yu in a bit of a re. Quality getting better and better. Wide to the forehand. And at this level, players know as soon as they hit a ball. So much spin, the flat hit. Some power on the back end. When's the last time we saw a back? Oh. Earned the opportunity. We saw the pendulum. Oh. Every ball just. It's here trying to keep the weight forward, move it in. It's tough to do in these fast paced rallies. Inside out forehand comes back, covering, watch this. It is a chop block, what do you know, some Punch shot right into the body and Kato one point. It was not. And the last shot in the Just missing the back edge after recovering a net ball. Best points we see in a match are often around match point, on match point even. And the ball will not come down on the table. Yu Meng Yu really finding the look. The fight goes, and sure enough, she goes for it. Turning wisely there from the middle. The very last moment changing up the angle. Flat hit once again goes out. And Kato can the risk Kato was willing to take. Counter goes long. The counter loop this time completely the opposite direction. A spinny forehand to forehand rally. And it's Yu Meng Yu who takes it 14. Don't go anywhere. You don't want to miss it. Stay right here for the final game the women's singles quarterfinal. It was Miyu Kato who won. She's gonna be starting off with the serve. What to do about that? A strong opening backhand and a forehand egg come. A low to the net the serve was.
And that's what happens when you keep <laughs> yes, that's exactly what happened. Kato showing us being the wider and wider out to the forehand side. The eye contact is there, the fighters. That topspin has been overwhelming, out of control in every sense, but uncontrollable from Miyu Kato. Catches it just a little bit late. A lot of factors on a shot, keeping it low to the net, loaded with now, as you among you, it's five points. Once again, the flat hit does not land. You can see, even though the ball was up just a little bit. That last ball hits the hand and then the racket, but it all counts. And between the two, five match points. And the flat hit goes up once more.